Hey guys, this is a quick follow up on uh, our last uh, router table for a $10 video. Uh, it was pretty popular, thank you for everyone who subscribed and sent me comments. I got comments from Argentina to Morocco, which is super cool, I really enjoyed that. So keep sending them over, it's fantastic. Um, the most common question I got was how did I make the router bit go up and down and I, I should have gone into more detail at the time but <clears throat> I thought I'd do a quick uh, review on my routers and some of the features they have and why I've gone for these and um, you know it might help you with your choice for, for routers. So uh, I've got two Triton routers. Um, Triton routers they're not the cheapest routers but they're also not the most expensive so um, you know they're somewhere around in the middle there I guess. Um, I've found them very reliable, I'm super happy with both of these. So um, Now the first part was how I made the router bit go up and down. So on both of these routers, um, it's located in different spots, but they both have a little winder here. And they come with a little handle, which just goes straight in and you can wind it. So you know, if you, you can just mount these to a piece of wood, drill a hole and it's a, it's a table, it's a router table, so it's super easy, it doesn't get any easier than that. You don't have to go to the expense of buying the, you know, one of those expensive router lifts. <clears throat> a couple other features that I quite like about these routers. Uh, this one here, this is the TRA001 Triton router, which is their big one, which is three and a half horsepower. Um, if you saw my laptop video, which you know, I've put a link around here somewhere, you can go and check that. Um, you know, with a big router, a bit like this, it just ate to it like nothing. Tons of power, very reliable. Um, it just lives in my router table non-stop. Uh, a couple of little features. It has, uh, both of these routers have a micro adjuster. So you can just infinitely adjust up and down to, you know, get your exact depth of cut right. Uh, it's also got a little winder handle here. So I just pull this little ring in and I can wind it up and down as well, which makes it quite nice. Um, the power switch I really like, uh, it has a plastic cover, so I can't bump this one down, I've got to physically slide it across and then push the button, which is fantastic, nice and safe, I'm not going to bounce there, um, I'm not going to um, knock it on accidentally. Um, <clears throat> the best thing about the, these routers are you just need one wrench to undo them, so when I wind it down, the collet sits up nice and high. Uh, it's got a locking mechanism, so it's already locked in place. So I just need one, one wrench, and I can take it in and out. Uh, you know, some other routers, you've got to get underneath here and get up here, and then have a third hand to drop the thing in. Pain in the ass. So uh, I definitely like that. Um, another feature on this big router is you can remove the spring. So I've learnt this the hard way in the past with other routers that. If you leave a router, a plunge router in a router table for a long time, compressed, the spring will compress and then you'll wonder why it doesn't work anymore. So, lesson learnt there. Uh, this is the smaller router, I just use this for my hand routing. Uh, this is the, I can't remember the model number, but it's their small one which is uh, one and a half horsepower and still plenty of power, it's still a good little router. Uh, same thing, you can, uh, has the adjustment on the bottom for the um, for putting it in a router table. Uh, plenty of covering from the router bit for the dust extraction, which seems to work pretty well. Uh, yeah, so, you know, overall, not a bad router. Um, and if you haven't seen the router table video yet, for uh, just click here and you can watch that, and then, uh, you know, come and review these again. Feel free to send me any questions you have. I'm uh, happy to answer them. At Onewood, we also sell these, which is uh, called a muscle chuck. Uh, these were made in the US, so uh, you know, a lot of you, it's nice and local. And uh, nice and easy to change a router bit. So you just need a little wrench like this, little Allen key wrench, straight in there, pull your router bit out, and you're done. <clears throat> so again, you know, if you've got one of those fiddly routers where you've got to get spanners underneath and must mess around with it, the muscle chuck might be a good little option for you. Thank you everybody who's subscribed recently. Um, I really enjoyed it and I really enjoy your comments. So uh, keep them coming, thank you.